do honor me. We honor God with our lips. I love God. Hallelujah. That's what we say. Am I right? Read. Yeah. But have removed their heart far from me. But have removed our hearts far from God. We don't know God. We say we love him, but we actually do not know God because we have yet to read the book. Hey, sis, how you doing? Hey, sis, how you doing? You doing okay? Do you know that? Come talk to me, sis. It's all good. We ain't out here to offend our people. We are here just to teach the Bible. That's what we're doing. We're just teaching the Bible. So, so what is your nationality, sis? I'm black. You say you black, right? Mm -hmm. All right. So my jacket is black and you are not the same color as my jacket. And that's okay that that's what you said. Well, that's what that's the term our people use. But what is your nationality? Where do you come from? Do you know? I'm a Negro. I'm a black person. You're a Negro. All right. So according to the Bible, according to the Bible, you would actually be from the tribe of Judah. You are an Israelite according to God. Sister. That's right. You are not black. Right. You're not. You're not black. Okay. So, so can we can we show you? Can we prove it? Let's prove it for, according to God. Give me Deuteronomy 1 and 1 real quick. Deuteronomy 1 and 1. Because this right here, we are the product of the slave trade, am I right? Wasn't our ancestors in slavery? Yeah. Right? So did you know that that's in the Bible on the flyer that you are holding in your hand? That right there is actually the scriptures are right on the flyer. And we're going to read some of them to you. Give me Deuteronomy 1 and 1. Bring it out. Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 1. Bring it out. These be the words which Moses spake unto all of Israel. 28.15. So it said these be the words that Moses spake unto all Israel. Right? So he's talking to Israel. He ain't talking to black people. Okay? That is not what he called them. He called them Israel. Right? Right. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15. Read. But it shall come to pass. It means it's going to happen in the future. It shall come to pass. So it ain't going to happen now. It's going to happen later. So this right here was written over 2,000 years ago. Over 2,000 years ago. Read. If thou were not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Read. To observe and to do all his commandments. So it said if we do not listen and do all the commandments of God, what's going to happen? And his statutes, which I command thee this day, Read. that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Is a curse a good thing or a bad thing? What's your name, sis? Why? What is it? I said why. What's, why? Why do I want to know your name? Because I want to make it personal. This is personal. This book is about you. Right. Look, you my sister. This, this book is about you. Right. How you doing, brother? Brother, you doing all right? You got a few minutes to listen to the Bible, man? This one right here? Alright, so we're just going over the fact that we are Israel according to the Bible. So this right here says the Israelites, if y'all do not keep the commandments of God, something's gonna happen to you. Curses are gonna come upon you. Give me a 68. For the brother right here, we're gonna read it quick. Deuteronomy about chapter 28, verse 68. Read. And out. the Lord thy God shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Get Egypt, get Exodus 20 and 2. So it said, the Lord thy God shall bring the Israelites into Egypt again with ships. What does the word Egypt mean? Let's read that. We're going to read it out of the Bible. The Bible explains it. Exodus chapter 20 verse 2. Read. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Go back. So it said Egypt, the house of bondage. Another word for bondage is slavery. So let's see how the Israelites was going to get here. It, it's, got, it's got two minutes. It's got two minutes. It ain't going to go away for two minutes. Read. By the way whereof I spake unto thee. So start from the top of that 20, 68. Okay, verse 68. And the Lord thy God shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. slavery again with ships. Who did that happen to? Who did that happen to? Us, right? So we are the Israelites according to the Bible, bro. She says she black. She ain't black. She, she walking around lighter than me talking about she black. <laughs> you know what I mean? You got a little Native American in it. I, and I can see that, and I can see that, but she said, oh, follow black, is what she said over there to the brother, he said, oh, follow black. So, you know what I mean, because it go by your father. The, we carry the seed as men. So, this right here actually says that we are the children of Israel, bro. We are not black, and now you know that because I know you got to go get on the bus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How you doing, bro? Because you was up here a few minutes ago. Are you going to get on the bus right now? All right, cool. How you doing? Doing good now since I get a job. All right. <laughs> what you eating on, man? Pork skins. You eating on some pork skins? All right, so I got a question for you. I got a question for you. So have you ever been told that you're an Israelite? What's your name, sir? My name is Billy Nelson. Is it, what is it? Billy Nelson. 
Mr. Nelson. Can I say Mr. Nelson? Is that all right with you? All right. So, so this right here, you actually said. So I'm asking you again. What is your nationality according to the Bible? Storm, you bro, you got to get truth. on the bus. Uh, maybe in a minute. Hold on, give it Say it again. You want to know the truth, right? Yes. I don't know what planet we on. You don't know what planet we on, so you don't know who you is then, right? The, white, the, the white man brought over here and said we sell here. He called it America. Now right. What, what we at? Where you want to know what the name of this place used to be called? What it called? <laughs> give me, uh, give me Ezra 13. We're going to read it. Because yeah. yeah. our people was actually here. You know what I mean? The, the northern kingdom of Israel was already here before we ever got here. So we're going to show you what the name of this place used to be. Since you said you want to know, we're going to get it for you. 13 and 14. Matter of fact, jump down to... we got to read the whole thing. Where it says... I need to add that one more question. Yeah, 45. Here you go. Second Andrews, chapter 13, verse 45. Bring it out. For through that country, there was a great way a great way to go, uh -huh. namely, of a year and a half. So, so this right here is talking about the northern kingdom of Israel, your, your Hispanics and Native Americans. It said they had a great way to go to get to a further company, a country that no man dwelt. Read. And the same region is called Osiris. That same region is called Osiris. We are standing on Osiris today. That's where we at. You said you wanted to know. So now you know that. So now, you say you don't know who you are, Isaiah 1 and 3. Isaiah chapter 1 verse 3. Read. The ox knoweth his owner, uh -huh. and the ass his master's crib. So it said the ox knows his owner, and the ass his master's crib. So these two animals that don't have any wisdom, they know where they come from, and they know where they get their strength, or they know where their power at. Let's see about us though. Read. But Israel but doeth who? not But Israel uh -huh. doeth not know. So it said, but Israel, we don't know. We don't know where we come from. So the fact that you say you don't know, you just fulfilled this prophecy right here. That's right. I'm going to ask you something. Yes, I sir. I ain't want to ask you this yet. Uh, you do. You know you, know you got your rights. You ain't got to answer the question. Now. I know. You do know you got rights. But we are, we uh, are here to I'm, answer I'm according to the Bible. As long as it ain't nothing crazy, we good. How come, how come us black people, we got to be uh, not even to the white man? We got to be what? Not Eve to the white man. What you mean, not he, Eve? He wanted to be not Eve. We read books up on the bed with like Kevin White. We didn't want to, he wanted to learn nothing. So you mean to tell why they didn't want us, why why we don't learn anything toward the white man? Is that he what you said? He didn't want to learn nothing. He didn't want us to learn how to why read. Didn't why didn't he want us to learn? Why he didn't want us to learn how to read and write? Cool, I'm going to show you. Give me uh 29 and 13. Uh, I mean, Isaiah, I, 29 and 13. I'm going to show you. We're going to show you because I know exactly why they did it. The Bible actually tells you why they did it. You got that? Let's get Let's get 13, am I right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't want to get in no trouble. Isaiah chapter 29, verse 13. Now listen up because you asked why did they do that to us. Let's find out why. Wherefore the Lord said, for as much as these... Hold on. Hey, how y'all doing? Y'all got a few minutes to listen to the Bible? Y'all don't want to listen to the Bible? Hey, hey, Look, please. now listen, now listen. Now, now, Mr. Nelson, now you see how our people keep walking past us? That's, that's oh, okay. Now, now, are we reading that's out okay. the Bible? We turn them around. We, we, we reading out we the Bible. Turn around, we, they might, but right, right now they walking by. Need some, need now, now this do. right, that's why they taught us, they didn't, that's why they didn't want us to read and write, so that right there could keep happening. Read. Isaiah out. chapter 29, verse 13. Read. Wherefore the Lord said, for as much as these people draw near me with their mouth. Because our people say we love God, am I right, Mr. Nelson? We say we love God, right? Yeah, yeah, with our it. mouth. Yeah, I love Right? Read. And and with their lips do honor me. We honor God with our lips. I love God. Hallelujah. That's what we say, am I right? Read. Yeah. But have removed their heart far from me. But have removed our hearts far from God. We don't know God. We say we love him, but we actually do not know God because we have yet to read the book. Is that it on that? Read. And their fear towards me is taught by the precept of men. It's taught by who? It's taught by the precept of men. We have been taught by this so-called white man how to fear our God. He can't tell us how to love our God. You think he going to tell us how to love our God? Because the Bible, because the Bible actually says we on top and not him. So if we don't know how to read the Bible, then we jacked up, am I right? Give me Revelations 1 and 3. Am I right, Mr. Nelson? That's right. If we can't read the book that's telling us that we supposed to be on top, right. how we are never gonna come out of this estate right here. We're gonna stay right there. What y'all need to do, I need y'all to I need y'all can, can I hear some more scripts? I yeah, got, got, I we got a few more to go. I need y'all to feel at the, at the call of scene one night. 
Why, why, well, why, Mr. Nelson, well, well, you get us up in there, Mr. Nelson. I get Let's get it. Man. Read. Revelation chapter 1, verse 3. Uh -huh. Blessed is he that read it. The white man knew that. Read it again. Blessed is he that read it. So if we can't read and write, we can't we can't get the blessing that's in here for us. Am I right? That blessed is he that read it. Read. And they that hear the words of this prophecy uh -huh. and keep those things which are written therein. Uh -huh. For the time is at hand. So it said, blessed. Let, let Listen up, Mr. Nelson. I want you to hear me out. I'm, I'm, I'm going to let you talk. 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 So this right here says, I'm, I'm, can I complain to you? It said, right there. blessed is he that readeth. Uh, and that hear the words of this Bible and keep the commandments. Right. If you can't read the commandments, you can't do them. Listen, if I can't read them, I can't teach them. Oh, now watch this here. What you got, Mr. Watch Nelson? this here. Now, this is real talk. Uh -huh. This is a piece of knowledge now. Okay, our, black people, 11, our black people couldn't even read. All right. Uh huh. How they come with the wisdom in their mind because when they got married or anything else, they put an X in that Bible. You said they put an X in it? Yeah. Wait, what you mean they put an X in it? When they got married, they they had no license. They, they oh, yeah, so they put that they X in the Because it, it used to be, it used to be a marriage uh, license thing in the in the front of the Bible that you could fill out. They took that out of the Bible. It used to be in the older Bible. So, so, so I've we, seen we that, so that's we, why they would do that. We can't take that from them. Well, no, the Bible is ours. We can't take it from them. It's our book. That's right. our book. They took there it from us. All right. They took that from us. All so right. you got that? So I'm going to show you something because you said you love God. Do you know you're an Israelite now? Because we came over here on the slave ship that we talked about earlier. Am I right? I work with you. Am I right? I work with you. All right. So so do you know you're an Israelite? Put it that way. I do. I work with you. No, work with me. It's talking to that's that. more. You got to see some cool. Let's get Deuteronomy 28 and 47. Look, no, I let's know. finish 68 out. Let's finish 68 out. And we got over here on slave ships, am I right? Yep. That's how we got here, right? Let's read that again. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. Read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. The word Jack. Egypt, like we read earlier, means slavery. Did you know that? Huh? Did you know the word Egypt is slavery? I, I'm, I'm listening. Get uh, Exodus 20 and 2 again. We got to make sure you got it. All right? Uh -huh. We going to make sure you got it. We got to hear our people. We got to run you off. We got to teach our people and, and all praise that you're willing to listen. You got it? Let's get it. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 2. Read. I am the Lord thy God, uh -huh. which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Out of the land of Egypt. Listen to this next part. Out of what? Out of the house of bondage. So the word Egypt is out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. House of bondage. So what's another word for bondage? Hey. Slavery. So now let's read that again in Deuteronomy 28, 68. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 68 uh -huh. right. and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt and said the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt or slavery right again how with ships how do we get her again Mr. Nelson on ships. slave ships right didn't the Bible just say that was going to happen to the Israelites read on what happened when we got off the Where slave ship about from? oh this right here you can buy this that's out the whole of about. yeah that's what they're supposed to be teaching in churches, but they don't. Right. Because they teach what their white man was teaching us back in slavery. That's, That's what right. they do. Our people go into these churches and like, like you asked, why they didn't want us to read and write so they can tell us what they want to tell us and we go and follow it. Right. But if we read the Bible, now all of a sudden we're reading the Bible and you're finding out that you're an Israelite, that you are a chosen son of God. Right. I don't no trouble though. So like, look, what, what you mean what trouble? What trouble are you going to get? We, we come out here every every Sabbath. What trouble are you worried about getting? I ain't worried about Look, that. exactly. We ain't neither. So we're going to keep on reading to you. So when we, when we got off the slave ships, didn't we get sold? What we sold to, to so-called white people all over America? Hey, boy, penny. There it is. So let's see if the Bible say we was going to. The way whereof I spake unto thee. Uh-huh. Thou shalt see it no more again. So it said we ain't going to see it no more again. It, said, that it is our homeland. What's our homeland? Where are we from, Mr. Nelson? Where we from? I know, you know what? Matter of fact, you actually admitted earlier you didn't even know. Because they tell us we from Africa, am I right? They say we from Africa. That's what they say. That's what they say. Let's see what God says. Read. You're right. That's a lie. Read. A lie. <clears throat> and there ye shall be sown. Go back. Go to Galatians. Where you at? Galatians chapter 4 verse 26. Uh-huh. But Jerusalem. Which it, said, it said, but Jerusalem. Jerusalem. Okay? Man. Jerusalem. But Jerusalem, which is free, uh -uh, above. Uh, uh, but Jerusalem, which is above, is free. Uh -uh. 
which is the mother of us all. It said, which is the mother of us all. We are from Jerusalem. We are not Africans. Why they say? Why do they say we Africans? So that we don't know that this right here is truly us. Right. So that they can put us in slavery and we follow them. So that whenever we walk by and we see people reading out of the Bible, we don't think the Bible is our book. When this was written by our people. God is only for our people. That's he ain't right. for everybody. Right. He's not, he's, Christ ain't even coming back to save everybody. That's he's right. coming to save the Israelites. That's it. That's right. Because we are God's chosen people, right. not all these other people. Right. So whenever, whenever they tell us this and they say, you know, you go in these churches or they don't let you read for, for two, three hundred years. Now all of a sudden they can say God loves everybody and you believe it. But if you could read it and it says, no, God don't love everybody, he hates somebody, that would mean he don't love everybody. Because right. it's in the Bible that he hates. So let's finish that in Deuteronomy 28, and we're going to get that for you. Because we came over on slave ships, we haven't been back to our homeland in Jerusalem. Read. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemy. Read. For bond men and bond women. Read. And no man shall buy you. So it said when we get off the slave ships, we were going to be sold for slave men and slave woman and no man shall buy us no man shall redeem us because our redeemer is christ am i right so who so now do you understand that the people that came over on the slave ships to here and all over the world are the israelites do you understand that now you do right so now i gotta get so now no i gotta let me give you something let me give you something you you gonna make me get in that program no well you need to that's what we are here to do to compel our people to come in stay right here give me first corinthians first corinthians 11 keep on talking i'm about to get in mr nelson all praise my purpose well listen well you got hey you got to come in and learn before you get that because first you got to show yourself diligent according to the body we go let's find out let's find out let's get a start right now read First Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 3. Read. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. So our head is Christ, am I right? That's what the Bible said, right? Read. And the head of the woman is the man. We are the head of the woman. We have to make sure that the woman is taken care of and teach her according to the Bible. Read. And the head of Christ is God. So God and Christ are not the same like they try to say. They are one. The Bible said that God is above Christ. So there's no way they could be the same person. Right. Read. Verse 4. Every man praying or prophesying. So it said every man praying or prophesying. Right now, me and you, we are in the midst of prophesying right now. We reading out of the Bible, you hearing out of the Bible. Listen, I gotta, I gotta, can I give you this? Put. Let me give you this. I'm going to let you talk right after this. I, I, I. Having his head covered. Your head is covered with a hat right now, Mr. Nelson. Dishonoreth his head. You're dishonoring Christ right now. All right, let me give you one question. Did you hear, did you hear that, Mr. Nelson? Mr. Nelson, Mr. Nelson, you are dishonoring Christ is what the Bible said. Are you willing to take your hat off right now while you're over here? But you got another one on your head, too. All praise All praise All praise So right. now, what you got, sir? Right, let me give everybody, I want everybody to listen to this. Uh-huh. Now, I was told, which I can't, I can't do nothing about it anyway. Now, that Bible you got right there, uh-huh. say, hold the Bible. Yes, it is. That's the Holy Bible. Now, watch this here now. Everybody look at this. Watch this here. That you don't have the original Bible. The only man got the original Bible is the Pope. Stop. That's a lie. We All got right, it. We man. actually got it. What's this right here? We got the Bible. See, see, Mr. Nelson, I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you come and talk to us today because you say the only people that got the real Bible is the Pope. And the Pope don't even teach the Bible. We do. So... Uh, this right here, I'm, look, 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 look. I'm, I'm look, working look. with you now. This right here is what Work they. With me. This right here is what they be having in the church. The Holy Work Bible, they got 66 in it, nah. right? Guys, listen, listen. I, 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 we gotta address that. We gotta address that. So this right here says the Holy Bible. Hey, 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 hey. Next time, bring a chair. Uh, come see us at the school. We got a chair oh, for you. you so, at? hey, we matter of fact, we on Gray Street, six what? blocks up the street. So now, when so now, now, I, I need to come listen, there. Listen, I listen, listen. But, but we gotta, but we gotta, we me. gotta deal with this I right like now. This. this is good. All praises. All right, so no. the flyer right there, it got the address on the back. Right, right. So now, now, Mister, Mister Nelson, Mister Nelson. What, what time y'all start? We we get there about four o'clock every every Saturday. Listen, this right here is what they got in church, in the, in the churches in, in our Baptist churches. Uh, Pentecostal churches, the Church of Christ, they all got these darn titles on them and don't keep one law. So this right here is what they got. But then they leave this part out the Bible, which is what's in the Bible that you mentioned about the Pope. They they got this right here. These other 14 books out of the Apocalypse. So now, this right here actually got it 
all in the Bible. Right. It's right here. We got it and we study it right. and that's what we teach. I want to come. Right. I want to join y'all. Listen, I got to come. But you ain't gonna be able to hold me because I'll be a lot of math math eight looking around like that. <laughs> <laughs> well listen, 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 you cannot be out here, man, afraid to learn about yourself. Right. We are the children of God. Yes, that's right. who we are. God chose us above everybody. Remember, give me Joel 2 and 27. Listen, because because remember, we told you earlier that God is not the God of everybody. He's not the God of everybody. You got to know this before you leave. Read. Joel chapter 2, verse 27. Bring it out. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. So God is in the midst of Israel. He's in the midst of us. Even the people down here at the bus stop, our people, God is their God. Read. And that I am the Lord your God. It said, I'm the Lord your God. That's personal. That's possessive. I'm your God. Read. And none else. And what? And none else. And what? And none else. That means God is not the God of nobody else but the Israelites. That's hey, it. Hey, hey, hey. If I come, y'all can put protection on me if I come. Sure I have. Got to get health protection. You say you got to get health protection. I got to have protection. Have protection. <laughs> Why? Because you think people going to come kill you if we do what we doing? Is that what it is? No. The truth is the truth. The truth is the truth. What's the truth? What's the truth? It's what you speaking right now. Oh, praise to the most. I give you the don't want to know that because they they too ignorant to know that. They don't want to well, know. Like, you say because they ignorant? Because they told them like that. Mm hmm You got a one track mind that's on you. That's right. That is our people, Mister Nelson. It's on you to span. But I but you actually stood here today and you heard it. I heard it. You heard it. And well, Lord willing, and Lord willing, you come to that address. I can stay all day listening, but I got to go. Yes, sir. But, be but you got the flyer, right? I, yeah, yeah. It's a phone number on that flyer, I, I, and it's an address on that flyer. We air talking. down there every Sabbath, right. Saturday I, or Sabbath at 4 o'clock, all right? Y'all better be there. Come, come. Yes, sir. <laughs> all praise. All right, so for the next teacher, next, uh, what you got? Yeah, let's read that real quick, and then we'll close it up. Psalms 119 and verse 142. Read it Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy law is the truth. So just like you said, Mr. Nelson, that we teaching the truth, we are out here teaching God's laws. Right. God's laws is the truth. That's so when right. people say they worshiping God in spirit and in truth, they must be keeping the commandments. Right. Shalom, this is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcast, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org